Hi. So genuinely, I was not planning on doing a reading vlog for Bunny, but I am, let's see. I'm on chapter seven, so 50 pages in. I don't even know what's going on and I love it. I mean, I know that like hearing mixed reviews is kind of the huge for books, like you either love or you hate it. And this is one of those books that I've heard like really good and bad things about. Um, I know it's books with Chloe's, like one of her favorite books and I've had it on my TBR for a minute. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna finally pick it up much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna catch you guys up on like where I'm at right now. Um, clearly not that much through it. You know what, it's really pretty. I wanna go outside. Hi, future Kels here. I have something to tell you real quick. So obviously we've got book of the month and I know you've heard of them cause they're so popular, but just in case you haven't, it's a fast growing online book service for readers, AKA, us and their goal is to promote new authors to readers and then help readers discover new books that they love which i just i think that's so cool because there's a lot of picks on here the different months where i'll recognize a couple of them and then not recognize the rest so it's like you can pick something that's been on your tbr and then you can also find something new so you'll have your choice from a curated selection of new and early releases. Also, if you're like me and you get a little nervous when you have too many books piling up, you can always skip months. So one thing I really like about Book of the Month is that all of their shipments are hardcover. So I personally love to see like a good mix on my bookshelf, but let me show you guys what I picked for this month. So I got Sign Here by Claudia Lux and then, and then Hester by Lori Lico Albanese, which also on the back, look how cute it is. It tells you which month they were for because obviously I'm gonna remember this one was for my October shipment, but like, look, fresh. So book of the month has the best priced hardbacks. And if you use my code, you can actually get your first book for $9.99, which that's literally like a third of the last hardback that I bought at the store. So we're leveling up. Okay, so I'm gonna go read some more. Bye. Okay, so all I really knew about this one is that it's, some people are saying it's horror, which is why I got it. <laughs> and it's about these women who call each other bunny in a not ironic way. And they're super rich and been a university setting too basically it's this girl samantha she doesn't come from money and she's at this super expensive like ivy league ish school she's a writer and she's class with that like click of suffocatingly bubbly bunnies but anyways they have this thing where they all get together and they call it smut salon and they kind of like look down on her and critique her writing and say it's too mean or it's too dark or it's too whatever. And she's just not a fan. And she has this like edgy friend, Ava, and they just, you know, that's her girl. They just, they hang out. So she gets this invitation to join one of their smut salon night. They'll like talk about it and mention it, but they don't tell anybody actually what happens. So she has all these theories about how weird it is. She gets invited to one and she ends up going kind of just based on curiosity, but she also secretly really cares about what they think and they get her super drunk and it's super weird. But genuinely, the reason that I wanted to make a reading vlog for this one is because even reading just like the first 50 chapters, I love how she writes. She like writes in these little intrusive thoughts almost and it makes it really eerie, but also, I don't know, it makes it like real. I don't know, it's like also really intense. I don't know how to explain it, but I really like her writing. So anyways, as of now, as of chapter seven, she went and now she's waking up and she's hungover and she's remembering all the things that happened. But it's weird because at the end, she remembered that they told her to go outside and catch a bunny, like a real, like a rabbit. And she remembers like bits and pieces of the night and everything. And then she wakes up and there's like a bunny outside of her apartment. And uh, I've been waiting for this. I tapped it because I was like, it's gonna happen. They called her Bunny and she made a mental note of it. She was like, did they just call me Bunny? And they were like, yeah. She said, we never joke about bunnies, Bunny. Bunny 
Did they just call me Bunny? Yes, Bunny. Take a shot every time I say Bunny. Just kidding, please don't. Like, go drink a water or something, because it's a lot. But yeah, I'm excited. I feel like it's gonna be like a good psychological horror-ish type thing. I don't know at all what's gonna happen. It says something about her friendships colliding. Okay, it says her friendships with Ava and the bunnies will be brought to a deadly collision. But that's really all I have to go off of. I just, I have a feeling that it's gonna be five stars for me. So I was like, you know what? Let's tell the people. Let's tell the people about it. Let's tell them what they wanna know. But anyways, I'm about to also go get my hair done. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after. Okay, I love it. What? I haven't changed my hair in years. This is so fun. Okay, if you live close to Nashville, it's Sebastian at Local Honey. And um, yeah, I love it. What an aesthetic. My little bangs. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but it makes me think of like Mean Girls when Lindsay Lohan joins the Plastics, but she's, she thinks she's making fun of them, and then she ends up becoming one of them for real. That's what this makes me think of, but more dark, I guess. Okay, mini update. I'm on page 86. I don't think I've ever written inside a book so much. Like so many of these. I haven't even tabbed it. I'm probably gonna do that today. I'm not using any highlighters, literally just because I feel like black pen is the aesthetic I want for this book. But yeah, I just have like a bunch of notes because I just have a lot of questions. Here's my theory so far. At first I was like, the bunnies killed her friend, like for sure. And then I was like, is her friend even real? That made me think like, is she a reliable narrator? Cause that's something that I feel like with psychological thrillers, which I don't even know if this is a psychological thriller. All I've heard is that it's like a fiction and horror. I am on whatever chapter, 11, eight, 11 <laughs> and everything that's happening right now she's at her second smut salon everything that's happening i'm like there's no way this is real there's no way this is actually happening why and there's like weird details that are coming up too and i'm like i wonder what significance that's gonna hold later and what i liked from the beginning is that she has this almost like eerie commentary as a main character and i really liked that but now it's getting to the point where I'm like, is everybody dead? I'm so curious to know what's actually going on. Is she like mentally ill or like schizophrenic or whatever? And she's like seeing people and just imagining everything. And they're actually just like these little dolls that she's playing with. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm really trying to figure out what's happening. And then there's the whole thing with all of the bunnies, and I don't even mean the people. I'm talking about, like, actual rabbits. They're everywhere, and they're looking at her. <laughs> and now they have, like, guys at this party. I just... And they are acting bizarre. Like, and they're all wearing gloves. One of the bunnies was like screaming upstairs, and the guys didn't hear it, and then they came back downstairs, and she was like... What was that? And the girl was like, oh, that's me. I just like scream sometimes. What? <laughs> I think that's a little alarming. A little alarming for me. I am confused. It's just, it's very clear that there is something as the reader that we don't know. So there's like some type of context that we intentionally are missing that's making this confusing on purpose. And I like that. So that's where I'm at now. Lots of thoughts. I just finished some homework and I have to submit it, but I kind of want to go to a cute coffee shop and do that. Now you might say, Kelsey, did you not come in with a dirty chai? Mind your business.
This is my favorite book. Five stars, I don't even care. I'm saying it now. If you wanna read this book, don't watch the rest of this. Save it and come back, cause I don't want things to be spoiled for you because I'm gonna throw out like all of my little theories and I don't want like, genuinely I'm so happy that I went into this having absolutely no idea that this is what it was gonna be like. So this is your warning. Okay, I have a theory. One, she has to be in a mental hospital. She, There's no way. She has to be in a mental hospital. I think the bunnies are her nurses. And I think maybe, I, I don't know who Ava is. Maybe she's like one of the night nurses, like a different type of care person. I think Care Care is her therapist. Maybe Ava is like another patient or something. I don't know. Pretty sure she cooked a rabbit. Like there's no way. I think she put a rabbit in the microwave or the oven or something. She definitely, Marie Antoinette comment and the like little saw comment. No, that, yeah, it just like, I, she, she's, she murdered somebody, she did it. And she murders bunnies. Because I mean, otherwise, like, I just, I, I don't know. I have no more word. I have like all the words and no words, but I, love it. Now I understand why people are like either love it or hate it. I personally love it. I am living for this. But I would understand why some people would hate it. It's giving me so little, <laughs> so little to go off of. Yes, it could be this, it could be this. Ah, this is fun. Mona, you're my girl now. I have to read more of her books. I heard that her one that she just came out with, I don't remember what it's called, but I I put it on my want to read on Goodreads. I definitely know that I want to read that one. If anyone's read any of her other books and you think that I would like it, please let me know. I'll update you, I don't know, when something dramatic happens.
sky. <laughs> so the weather is officially changing and I have a little baby cold because it happens to me every season. Haha, <laughs> very funny. But we have things to discuss. So I have now gotten to part three. I'm like two thirds of the way through this now. I'm convinced she's schizophrenic. I think I called that. Not that I was that sure about it, but they mentioned it once. Like not referring to her, she saw like a pamphlet, like some lady reading a pamphlet about schizophrenia. There's no way that was mentioned for no reason. She's, that's definitely what's happening. The wolf boy, definitely not real. Ava's definitely not real. I still don't know if this is legitimately, she's at a university or if she's somewhere completely different, but I definitely think that the teacher is real. And I guess her classmates, but like when it comes to the bunnies, I really have no idea what's going on with that. No idea. Especially with their whole workshop thing. Is that supposed to be a metaphor for something? Is she making it up? Like, I don't know what's happening. Is it magical realism? But yeah, I noticed at the very beginning, not at the very beginning, but around page like 70, 75, Ava won't go into the school. She hasn't really interacted with anybody besides Samantha. I think she's going to an abandoned house. Honestly, that's probably where she lives. There's no way that the bunny boys are real either. But now the bunnies, they keep tripping me up. I don't know what's happening. So anyways, I'm gonna try and read through this in my state that I'm in right now. Hello, I'm dying. I have, however, read a significant amount. So I'm on page 252. I'm just like, how is 50 pages gonna explain all of this? I want like an in-depth analysis of everything that happened in here. I wanna know what really happened. Mm. So they're at this like emergency meeting that Wolf Boy, AKA Max, emailed everybody about. And they all are different and weird and what's in the boxes. Oh my gosh, is it gonna be bunnies? Is it gonna be something weird? It has to be something weird. It's always, it, always. I'm also just waiting for that jarring sentence when it's like, this was what's actually going on. I'm alive. I'm alive, but I'm dead. Now we're at what I was expecting. it's happening this is not a drill i am on page 186 it starts to kind of like paint what's really happening on page 285 i have like a paragraph left of this chapter um and then i'll be on chapter 37 okay i'm dying a little bit less today so started to kind of like show what was real and then it like reverted back. So she's kind of like going in and out, but now she's at all of their like graduation celebration thing. And I don't think it's gonna explain anything. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna look at some Reddit threads because I I need to know.
Okay, so I wrote down some notes, and even so, I know I'm gonna miss something. Okay, so for one, I think that Ava is a figment of her imagination that she made up for when she feels lonely. And I think it's like a projection of who she wishes she could be. So she's like too cool for everybody. She doesn't mind that she's alone. And then Max is her work, her writing. And he's like this scary, sexy combo that the bunnies are like striving for. And he's like authentic because he doesn't have like the messed up face or his hands are normal. And that's why they're so in love with them because they're like striving for this genuine aspect that their writing doesn't have, I guess. And I think that's where like their fascination with Samantha comes in because it's like, it explains that the year before she was like really isolated and they didn't really want anything to do with her. And then all of a sudden there was just this like spark of interest with her. And I think it's because they saw that she has this ability to go deeper into her imagination than they can which they mentioned but i think that that's what they're like actually striving for but the reason she's able to do that i feel like is because she's schizophrenic i think that she for real yeah i don't think she's just like imagining things because she's a writer i think that she's got some mental illness um because i don't think that that one part would be included if it wasn't that also she's definitely going to an abandoned home like there's no way because like I mentioned before, on page 285, I think it shows you for like a split second what's actually there. It like peels back. It like peels back all of the imaginary things that she's filled this house with. And it describes actually what's there. Okay, so I'm actually very unsure about if Jonah is real or not. I personally assumed that he was real, but then I went on Reddit. <laughs> I am unsure now. I heard someone say, I, okay, there's two theories. One is that he's not, and that he is her mind's projection of a medicated version of herself that has gotten help because she sees him as like a little bit lackluster, like kind of dull and just, but there's just like not a lot to him. But she, he kind of like grows on you as the story goes and he's like writing consistently and he's very open about his mental illnesses that he has and like his struggles. So that's one theory that I heard, which I really liked. The second one that I kind of got as like a little spinoff from that is that he is real, but he just represents to her life after getting medically treated. So like her at the end being like, yeah, let's hang out is her being like, yes, I want to subscribe to real reality. <sighs> the end, the last, the last sentence, really. That almost makes me think that that's not the case. I don't know. There's definitely references like symptoms of withdrawal. So I think that's definitely a thing. And at the end of the day, I feel like the bunnies are real but I don't know. I don't think that she hung out with them to the like extent as is described. And so this is her projecting how she thinks they would probably behave. And it's like overdone on purpose. Now the end really gets me because I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know, but I just, I think I just like that it makes you think so much. Cause well, like when I tell you, I've never annotated a book so much for fun. But yeah, that's about it. Um, this arguably might be my favorite book now. <laughs> um, but if you have any theories or anything, like please, please let me know. That's what I've got. I'm gonna let this one settle for a little bit. Mm -hmm.